Hey guys, it's Zachary from Howard Zone and welcome to another episode of Versus or if not this then that or what would Zach do? Anyway, today we have the Samsung Freestyle Projector versus screens, any screens, mobile screens, smartphone screens, tablet screens, screens. Let's go. Okay, quick background. Samsung Freestyle, this is a 1080p DLP projector, 500 nits brightness. It works pretty well in a home environment. Samsung wants to sort of uh, uh, push this in a corner where it's a smart portable TV rather than a portable projector. Now this thing is sort of like an all-in-one device. It has Tizen built in, so its UI looks very much similar to Samsung smart TVs. It has all your streaming apps that you can think of that, that's already built in. The remote even has shortcuts for Netflix, Disney Plus, and Prime Video right there. You can also install other apps. Uh, there, there are even games on the App Store. Not much, but it's still there. It has one built-in downward firing speaker. So Samsung claims this to be a 360 degree sound because it goes down and all around. It is loud enough for most situations and it's actually pretty good for a speaker of this size. Now, you can see this sort of lighting that is going on as I'm speaking because there's this cap that you can go on. But Samsung also wants this to be sort of like a mood lighting in your house where you can set up like various pre-programmed routines for lighting effects. It can even project sort of uh, a mood backgrounds or, or wallpapers on your wall, right? Things like, like party scenes or, or uh, windows to other places in the world, autumn, winter, those kind of things, or even like a crackling fireplace. Although, strangely enough, a crackling fireplace has no sound. None of these mood lighting things have sound, which is it, sort of weird. I thought that would have been, you know, uh, thing to consider. This is also a connected device. There's Wi-Fi built in for streaming. There's Bluetooth built in. You can connect it to other Bluetooth speakers to expand its audio options. It has things like Apple AirPlay built in so I can stream things from my iPhone. Strangely enough, there is no Chromecast. Um, you can connect it to Samsung Smart Things as well and control the projector from your phone. But again, uh, I can't seem to recognize it on SmartThings app on iOS, but it recognizes immediately on the SmartThings app on Android. So there are little things that, that you know, can still be improved, but like I said, this is not a review. Uh, we'll sort of cover all these things when we actually review the product in detail on how it's on. This is what would Zach do? And that's exactly what we're supposed to find out now. Now, this is probably what I like the freestyle the most for at home because when I work out, I can just have a screen basically anywhere I want. <sighs> Even on this like wall with holes because I can see what's going on but I don't necessarily need to follow a full story or movie. I just want to have some video and some audio and some sounds to accompany your workout. And the freestyle is great for that, for me specifically. Why I wanted to talk about this particular scenario is the fact that although I use it just for like some background noise, I realize a lot of people sort of do workouts at home or follow YouTube workouts and the HIIT workouts or some online yoga class, whatever it is. And you end up looking at your very small, smartphone, screen, or even a tablet, or even your notebook is a bit too small. The Freestyle does not have built-in power, but I keep walking back and forth. But you can use a power bank to power it up. you've got power and you can basically carry this anywhere you want go to the corner of your house somewhere it's not bothering anybody you know project it to just about any wall anywhere you want to do your yoga do your hit workouts whatever it is um, you're still here <laughs> 
Now, yes. this is probably the most common use case for a portable projector at home, right? It's at night, you want to go to bed, but you want to watch something fall asleep in. As long as you have a wall or a ceiling, a portable projector like the Samsung Freestar would work, right? You can, you can put it anywhere basically and you can just watch. Now, the good thing about this is that instead of using your phone, which we normally do, you know, you've got all that uh, blue light and interrupting your sleep cycle stuff. And if you actually do fall asleep, your phone might just fall in your face. None of that problem happens with a projector, right? Uh, if you actually do fall asleep, the Freestyle does have a sleep timer as well. So like you can set it to turn off automatically after two hours. So you don't even waste power. Yeah. <sighs> the other thing I've been using the Freestyle for quite a bit is it's sort of uh, like this quick break when I'm having a meal and watch an episode of Friends or Moon Knight or something like that. And uh, it doesn't really even have to be at night. Now, this is breakfast, as you can see from the background. It's during the day. It's quite bright. Uh, all you have to do is sort of close your windows a bit and it does still work. It doesn't even have to be on a, a fully white background and projecting it onto this this sort of marble quartz uh, uh, kitchen countertop and it works pretty well now the only thing about freestyle is because it has fixed lens you sort of have to physically move it around a bit to to find uh, a sort of the best framing but that's great because it's a portable projector but it does have like some auto keystone or auto focus capabilities you can scale and move the screen digitally as well so that's great now what i find is that the the things like the autofocus can sometimes be soft on the freestyle so you can manually go in and tweak it a bit to find the perfect picture for what you need but otherwise it works pretty well for what it does right mm, vegemite yum this is also another pretty common scenario in today's homes. We're all sitting in the hall, but we kind of all want to fight for the TV, but somebody always has control of the remote. So what does everybody else do? We watch what we want to watch on our small little screens on the phone. But with the Freestyle, I've found that I now can chill out in my own little corner. Great forward thinking of having PowerPoints everywhere in the house, but I can chill out in my own little corner and have my big screen experience as well All right now you're gonna say what about the sound i mean if i watch something on the projector and somebody's watching tv won't the sound clash well yes you can kind of leave it on just to annoy the person who is hogging the tv you have a weapon but the freestyle is technically like a smart device and it does have Bluetooth connectivity, you can pair Bluetooth headphones or earbuds to the Freestyle and have your own private movie night. Let's see, Bluetooth speaker. Pad and connect. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. What do you guys think? Uh, I've been having quite a lot of fun with the Freestyle. It obviously will not completely replace looking at your phone because you know your phone is just so much quicker. You don't have to wait for it to start up and project and, and play with focus and keystone and all, all that kind of stuff. But it has been a really cool thing to use to have a bigger screen to look at. Now, but what about you? Do you have a portable projector as well? You know, what have you been using it for? You know, do let us know in the comment section below. And in the meantime, right, don't forget to check out howizone.com for other news and features. And of course, you know, the review of the Freestyle when it comes out. And until then, 
See you in the next video. Where's Sam? What are you doing? Hey guys, before you go, don't forget to check out hardwarezone.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join in the conversation. Like and subscribe to our YouTube if you want to see more of these videos. Do it. Oh.